here's there, there's some interesting points here further too because for the for the those that say that Bonacci just made all this up, he did win his case. So here's an excerpt here from the Associated Press, January thirteenth, two thousand. King drops appeal of one million dollar judgment. On February 5th, 1999, in U.S. District Court in Lincoln, Nebraska, an extraordinary hearing occurred in Paul A. Bonacci v. Lawrence E. King, a civil action in which the plaintiff charged that he had been ritualistically abused by the defendant as part of a nationwide pedophile ring linked to powerful political figures in Washington and to elements of the U.S. military and intelligence establishment. Three weeks later, February 27th, Judge Warren K. Urborm ordered King, who is currently in federal prison, to pay $1 million in damages to Bonacci, in which Bonacci's attorney, John DeCamp, said was a clear sign that the evidence presented was credible. So to all the coincidence theorists and authority-worshipping cultists out there who allege that there is no such cr- there is no such rings or politicians' involvement and military involvement in all of this, how did Bonacci win a $1 million judgment? I mean, this isn't a settlement. This was a judgment for damages ordered by the the uh, judge. This is not a settlement to prevent Bonacci from further speaking on the matter. This is a judgment for $1 million in damages. I would like to hear the coincidence theorists' thoughts on this. I mean, what do they think? Because, I mean, to be able to prove it in a court of law beyond reasonable doubt, and again, these files supposedly are sealed, so we don't know the exact evidence presented, but I mean, they don't just hand out a million dollars to people who say they've been abused without evidence. And of course, the kibosh was put on the Conspiracy of Silence documentary, we went over that as well. So how credible is Bonacci if he's able to present enough evidence to win a $1 million judgment? And why would King drop the appeal if the evidence wasn't legitimate? I mean, if the if the evidence was wasn't legitimate, because if it's just all hearsay, of course you appeal. There's no evidence, guilty or innocent, he would appeal. But in order, if there's no chance of winning the appeal, I guess he didn't want to go through the fees because if the evidence presented was that damning, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs>